All right, loser semis, best of, best of five, best of, what is this best of five now? Okay. All right, best of five, here we come. Both three. Both, both. I, I, they're they're arguing over uh, whether it's both five or both three. It appears like we're doing both three. Either way, things starting off in the favor of Debo. And I'm realizing both these players play these characters in one form or another. I think Debo definitely plays Luigi more than Baru plays the Corin, but they both know these characters fairly well, really. Well, either way, certain to be a, a match maybe closer to what we'd see out of bracket. Not uh, not not something we're stranger to seeing Debo play the Luigi here on the stream. Best of four says to Crispy Moose. Well. Even percentages thus far, Debo though gonna get smacked in the face of the back air as Baru continuing to try and find the way to seal out that stock. Spot dodge gonna get caught out by a great cyclone there from Debo. Debo gets sent off the stage yet again. Baru holds him at ledge and the S smash not gonna connect! F tilt. Sends him off and wow, look at that hitbox on the down air. What's it called? Is it the it's shockwave? The no, no, no. The the hitbox. Whenever a down there is a hitbox like that, the la is it the landing hitbox? Is that it? Thought there was a special name for it. Great fight back from the corner here. Forty-seven percent just for a punish here. But look at this. Baru finds a small opening. Debo though, just gonna cycle him right in the middle of it. Say nah, fam, and continue. His tirade, 37% off of that missed up B, only an F smash to punish. Bar is knocked off the stage. So he can fight his way back, but you can't go aggressively onto the shield like that. Otherwise, you're gonna get up B. It's an unfortunate turn of events here for Baru. 68% only on Debo right now. He just holds in the corner because he knows that all he needs is one small opening as Baru barely makes it back to ledge. Almost ends up losing his stock at zero. Count at zero percent. Right there. Up he comes through. No tech from Debo. And I think that is a dead Debo. As the stocks are even. Percentages practically even. It is an even game between these two players. But Debo is going to punish that unsafe forward air on hit. 76% Oh, you can see he's fishing for that nair into the up B. He wants it. Great neutral air dodge to get past that projectile. Debo's done a great job right now just slowing the pace down, walling Baru out, and just keeping this corn from being able to do anything. Corn not a relatively fast character, so he's going to struggle quite a bit in order to get past a lot of these projectiles. Very up and down, and the up B is going to miss there from Debo. Baru holds on to his life a little bit longer. How much longer, though, I wonder. Nair back from ledge, Baru gets a little more damage, and Debo, the longer this game goes on, the closer and closer he creeps into kill percentage, and he's trying to finish with his down B, but suddenly Baru comes roaring back into this game. 75% now, on to the Luigi. Baru looking for that next hit to continue building this lead. Chipping away at the lead that Debo has. Debo just needs to seal out the stock. A back air, an up B, a smash attack. Any one of those would take the stock, but it's going to require getting Debo off the stage first. And the S smash comes through from Baru. Almost kills Debo right off the top. And folks, we have an even game. Back are not going to connect, but neither will the down air coming from Debo. Ledge control for Baru as he is fighting for his life here in this game. Number one, the grab, the back throw is not gonna get the kill. No kill throw from Debo on this Luigi. Up B, not gonna end up losing out there. The down tilt not gonna connect onto the re-grab on the ledge. Baru continues to hold onto the stock, lengthens 
this game and he's just looking for that one connection he needs to steal this game right from under the nose of Debo. The side B doesn't get the strong hitbox a little too soon and Debo gets the hit into the stage. It is unattackable and takes that game one. What a way for that to end. Uh, Baru is uh, very much not happy. Alrighty, game number two, potentially the final game here of the set between Baru and Debo. Debo had a very good showing game one. Baru almost brought it back. We'll okay. see if Baru is able to carry over that momentum here into game number two. If it was just a flash in the pan that would soon simmer out. Down B comes through from Debo, 46%. Onto this corner, onto this corner, Corin, excuse me. Down throws, Debo just chases Baru down on the side of the stage here. And the un... Uh, well, okay, that wasn't untackable. That was just a missed tech. Not a column like we see him. An entire stock ahead now is Debo, who's just going to realize he can sit at the ledge as long as he wants. 48% off of that small conversion. Debo realizing that, you know, I know how to play this character. And I think I can... Uh, Play it better than you can play the Corrin. He, he he figures out what went wrong at the tail end of that previous game. He just continues what he did those first two stocks. Debo making quite a show as of right now here in the semifinals. This is just what happens when you give a man a character he knows he can play. Great parry into the upbeat. Excellent there to punish that neutral air from Baru. Not many ways that you can punish that move, but that is certainly one of them. You have the parry timing, especially in a character like Luigi, you often get so much value out of it. Debo gets another start of a combo. 60, 77% off of that one combo starter. And already he has lapped Baru in percentage. Debo is putting on an absolute clinic here in this game number two. It's gonna take a miracle for Baru to be able to make it back here. See if that miracle can start. Can it, well, I mean, okay, it, it could. Uh, that counts as a miracle. Unfortunate SDs from your opponent is a, is a miracle, you know? It's as if you were given a chance. Up air comes through Baru. Has a little bit of advantage here. He needs to work on clearing off this first stock before moving on to the next two. There's the grab down throw into the down B. Not going to be enough to kill, but it's good at damage, and it puts Aru in a very awkward spot. The neutral B is not going to be able enough to kill cross stage in the back air. Finally seals out the stock, and the Cyclone is not going to be enough to get through that back air. Evo now just setting up the walls of projectiles waiting, trying to find Baru, catch him out in an awkward spot in the back air, is going to do it, catches the jump. It is GG 2-0 in the favor of Vivo. And I'll be back.